In this video, we will cover section 1.1 in your textbook, which is about arguments, premises, and conclusions. The first thing we need to know is the definition of logic, as this is an elementary logic course. So logic, as your book defines it, is the organized body of knowledge or science. So we're gonna just call it a science of evaluating arguments. So throughout the semester, what we'll be doing is evaluating arguments in different ways. So the aim of logic is to develop a system of methods and principles that we can use as criteria for evaluating the arguments of others and guiding our own construction or the construction of arguments of our own. So we can expect to have an increase in confidence that we are making sense when we criticize the, other, the arguments of others and also when we advance arguments of our own. So what is an argument? We can define an argument in its most basic form as a group of statements one or more of which and we'll call this the premises are claimed and that's important to provide support for or reasons to believe one of the others. We'll call that the conclusion. So an argument has to have a premise or premises and a conclusion. So you can see the term argument has a very specific meaning in logic. It does not mean a verbal fight like you might have with your parents or spouse or friend or boyfriend or girlfriend or whomever. Um, so we wanna think about what does this mean? If, it's, if an argument is a group of statements, what's a statement? A statement is a sentence that has a truth value. Now, what's a truth value? It's true or false. Those are the only truth values. So a statement could be something like, chocolate truffles are loaded with calories, or melatonin helps relieve jet lag, or political candidates always tell the complete truth. After each one of these, you could ask the question true or false, and it would make sense. That's one way to recognize a statement. So if I said chocolate truffles are loaded with calories, true or false, it doesn't matter what the answer is at this point. We're just trying to determine whether or not we're dealing with a statement. If I can ask the question true or false, do chocolate truffles, are, are chocolate truffles loaded with calories and it makes sense, then I, what I've got is a statement. But if I were to ask a question like, where is Khartoum? Or make a proposal like, let's go to a movie tonight. Or suggest, I suggest you get contact lenses. Or maybe command you, turn off the TV right now. Or exclaim, fantastic. Those would not be statements. Because if I asked, where is Khartoum, true or false, it doesn't make sense. The same thing if I said, let's go to a movie tonight, true or false. It doesn't make sense. So the premises set forth the reasons or evidence, the premise or premises set forth the reasons or evidence and the conclusion is the statement that the evidence
is claimed to support. And that's the definition of logic and the definition of an argument.